moving time. That's actually not moving time. I'm not moving for a couple of weeks, but I'm starting to really feel the pinch of it. And so I thought I would make a video about kind of like the state of things. This will be short, um, but I'm also going to go to VidCon. So maybe I'll just wrap all this up together. I don't know. I haven't really figured it out. I just hit record. So here's how things look. It's a complete wreck, as always, but it's especially messy because I've started putting some things in boxes, which is excellent, but I've not put a lot of other things in boxes. And that's, I mean, that's just the state of things. But it's really hard to work in here. This is my office. It's extremely crowded right now because of the boxes and the things being taken down. The shop's even worse. That, look at this thing. It's, it's huge and it takes up more than my workbench and my table saw. It hangs off both ends. I still have doors to make for it. I still have finish to put on it. I still have a top to make for it. It's just exhausting to try to work in this tiny space with a big thing and then everything else going on. So anyway, I'm still working on it. I'm trying to get this thing done before I leave for VidCon. So. I'm also kind of making this video to uh, procrastinate a little bit, but I need to stop doing that. I need to get it finished. I just wanted to show you the state of things. Yeah, all right, back to work. It's the next day. I got a lot done, started another project, which is my last project, and now it's time to go to VidCon, and here comes my wife. <laughs> it's this car. I know, I'm getting water. <laughs> you want one? Sure. It's really interesting coming to events like this, like VidCon, and I think there's going to be so much to film. I'll make a vlog about it, I'll show everybody who didn't get to come what all happens, and then I realize that I just don't want to walk around with a camera. Especially at VidCon, because there are a million young teenagers walking around vlogging themselves, and it just feels super icky, and I just don't want to be a part of that at the time. <laughs> but at the same time, there is a lot of really interesting stuff to see. VidCon itself is just far more geared towards young kids wanting to see the people that they watch, which is not me, and it's far geared more towards that rather than like creators who are just trying to build relationships. And That happens too, but it's really, really unbalanced. I think the real power of events like VidCon and Maker Faire are that people who create things and people who like what they create get to hang out. And so, like for me, getting to sit down last night at dinner with a bunch of people who also make videos and talk to them about like what they do and how it works and how we can work together or just get ideas from each other. That is the big thing and that really happens around VidCon rather than in VidCon. Same thing for Maker Faire. It's awesome to get to meet other people, see what projects they're making and talk to them about the, the mechanics and the techniques and stuff. Walking around the fair is just a different cool thing but really the relationships and the social stuff is what makes these things worthwhile in case you were wondering. Now I'm going to leave the hotel room and actually go down to VidCon. I made it back from VidCon, finally, and I realized while I was there that I just really don't enjoy talking to a camera in a public place. I'm just, it's just not my thing. I enjoy thinking about it here, where I can figure out what I'm going to say and saying it to you guys while there's nobody else around, but like just walking around with a camera in a public place, I, I don't know. I'm just not there. But anyway, I'm back in town. I finally made it back and I just finished my last project, I think, in the shop. This will be on the channel really soon. I made the case for this guitar because I needed to move and I didn't have a case for it, so I figured making a case would be a good project. So I did that and I just literally just finished it, just filmed the talking part for it, and now it's just hitting me that like I don't have anything else planned in the shop and I can start taking it down and putting it in boxes. That's a little bit weird, finally, after all of the thinking about moving for like a year and going back and forth about it and finally deciding to move, but it still seemed far off, and packing and it still seemed far off, and I still had projects to do, and VidCon, 
And now all that's over, and it's time to pack it up. It's a little strange. I'm not really sad about it, it's just kind of weird. But anyway, I don't really have to start packing stuff up until later in the week. So I may try to see if I can come up with another project to do just tomorrow. Start to finish in a single day. We'll see what I come up with. It's the next day and I realized that I had a little bit more time before we recorded the podcast, so I made another project just so I could have another week's worth of content. And I made that thing. Uh, not, not that thing. This thing. This thing. It's hard to point when I'm looking at the camera. Basically, it's a little step stool with some storage in it and storage down there and you can pick it up and carry it around with you. It took me about an hour to do and I just used stuff I already had here around the shop and it gave me another week's worth of content while we move. So that's pretty awesome. Now I think I'm officially finished making new projects in here except for the live stream tomorrow. Who knows what we'll do on that. And then literally right after the live stream I gotta start putting stuff in boxes. Ugh. I can put it off no longer. I've been trying for several days I've made a couple of videos, I did a live stream today, and now I have to start putting stuff in boxes. So I've been packing all day. The office definitely looks a lot thinner than it did. And look at the shop, this is crazy. Look at that, there's nothing in here. Got a few projects still laying around. Still got my uh, lumber rack here to take apart. But like, look at everything. It's so weird. There's actually an echo in here, in my ears, because I'm so used to everything being dead, because there's so much stuff, uh, I can actually hear an echo. I had some good friends and family come and help me uh, pack today. We got everything packed up that we were gonna take. We, just tomorrow we're gonna throw in like beds, couches, final big things to fill in the space, but we actually filled up a giant 26 foot truck. So it's almost completely full, except for that stuff we're gonna put in tomorrow. Anyway, so this is it. This is probably the last time you will see this shop, I definitely will be back. I mean, we have another trip planned, but like, this is the office, and there's very little in it. I'm gonna try to get a good night's sleep tonight, and then tomorrow we're gonna get on the road, so I'll see you then. Chew it up. No, let me see your face. I want to see your expression. Look at mine. Is it one of the crackly ones? Is it crackle in your mouth? <laughs> You're overreacting. We're here. We made it. We're finally here after all the driving. It just finished raining and now we're gonna drop off the truck. We finally got everything unpacked from this trip, which is fantastic. All of the shop is actually in the shop, just in the middle of the floor. It's not organized in any way whatsoever. In fact, there's a bunch of stuff that's still here from my grandfather, and we gotta figure out what to do with all that. A lot of it just needs to be tossed, but I wanna show you the shop for the first time. So, got a garage door. This is how we get into the shop. There's a garage there, a garage here. Here's the shop. This is the main entrance that goes into the rest of the house. This is the door for the house. Um, 
that's the garage that goes out and just this is all the space look at all the space I mean obviously it looks like a mess right now so it's kind of hard to see what's going on but like look how far away that wall is when I go down here check this out look how far away that wall is that's so awesome and then that wall is pretty far away anyway this is the shop I'm really excited I can't wait to start like getting it in shape and uh, organizing it and doing all the work. There's a bunch of stuff I gotta take down that my granddad had like all sorts of contraptions, you know, like attached to the ceiling and different like hanger things all over the place and all sorts of stuff I gotta like clean up. Anyway, that's it for this one. Um, glad I can finally show you the shop and now I'm gonna go to sleep. Bye.